Hey guys, welcome back. I got the burrito kit. Mmm, so yummy, guys. Ow! That was risky. See this curls thing? The outcome. us to the little to do some grocery shopping. So we're going to be making tacos tonight again, so we need to get all the things we need for the tacos. Sour cream. They moved the taco boxes. Up. Ah. Just get a burrito kit. They also have the fajita kit, but I mean, personally, I like the burrito kit. I got the burrito kit. I like the burrito. 12, but I like the burrito flavor. Uh, seasoning. Fajitas with chicken. This one's for ground beef. I'll hold these, it's not too much on you. Okay. Oops. You want me to grab the cheese? Okay. Okay guys, so now we're on, now we're on a mission to find cheese. Actually, we don't need to find it because I know where it is, but we're on a mission to grab the cheese. I don't know why the store is so busy right now. Like, Do we even need cheese? No, cheddar. We need cheddar. Oh, cheddar. I think we're also gonna grab a juice so we have stuff to drink that's not water. We're gonna do iced tea, of course. Because we love iced tea. Okay, catch you guys later. It's too busy in here. Okay, I had to put my hair up because it's pretty hot, but we just need like two things from here. Hopefully they have what Omar needs. This is pretty cool. We have a silver pen here. We got a new screen protector that I'm going to replace mine with, and we got a little tub for the house. Also, I tried a deep conditioner from here and it was pretty nice. It's an argan oil one, but I don't see it, so. Oh, but I just got this avocado hair mask, so I'm try excited to try it. I don't know who it's by. Oh yeah, this is the one that I got last week before I blew, blew out my hair. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see my split ends. I just pulled it out. 
We just came to Decathlon and Armani's gonna shoot a little. We saw the cutest dog at the entrance of the store. He's so fluffy. So, y'all saw us on this court most of the summer. So it's nothing new. We're back with the mountains, the court, parking lot, and Decathlon. I can't wait for those tacos, guys. I can't wait. So it's night time now, and we just had dinner. It was amazing. It's time to... Good morning. We're up. And now it's time to eat the leftovers. I put some curls in my hair with like heatless curls last night and I feel like it comes out decent but I don't know if I like the look. I don't know. Let's go eat. So these are the leftovers we have. We have the ground beef and rice. A little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of onion, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese. First is the sour cream, then we do ground beef and rice, we put some sauce, then some cheese, and now we go. That's my baby, baby doll. Mmm. <laughs> so yummy, guys. Ow! <laughs> mm, mm, mm. The egg was like, what you just say about me? And he came here one night. Hey guys, welcome back. Today it's Tuesday. We're about to go pick up some food right now at like the sandwich shop uh, just to have a quick little lunch. And then yeah, we're just gonna take you guys along with us. I don't know what's gonna happen today, but we'll see. We do have to film another video, so we're gonna try to do that later. And then Omar has to practice tonight and I have to edit. So we'll just take you guys along with us. Let's go. Omar stayed back and I'm going to get the food. I tried to do this side part and I actually really love how it looks. Um, especially with the shorter hair. So that's the vibe from now. We got the food. Um, yeah, we got the bag and the drinks. It's hard to actually vlog because everyone here already stares at you for literally everything you do. But if you have a camera in your face, they're going to stare even more. So we got french fries, both of us. We got like a formula. So you get french fries, a drink, and your sandwich. This is my fave always, but I saw this and it looked cool. Dragon fruit Fanta. We both got steak ache, which is basically like a burger in a panini. Pretty much, like burger meat. So it is now nighttime. I'm just quickly recording this on my phone because I'm like, I didn't really vlog much. Um, obviously I'm in bed, it's like 10 o'clock. Omar went to go get a practice in and he'll probably be back in like an hour or an hour and a half. So we'll just quickly 
eat some dinner when he gets back but i have been working on a new little like side project um but something i've been really excited to start i have a lot of side projects going on right now but this one is wait i'll just show you this is what i've been working on a little couple's youtube channel i have kind of been thinking if we should do a like a separate channel dedicated to like couples content because yeah obviously it's going to be like a whole different thing that on top of my personal videos and omar's personal videos we would have to create content like long form content for this channel as well but i kind of decided like why not i mean we kind of had we were th trying to see like what can we do better with our content like how can we really just take it a lot more seriously and that was one of the things that came up like we want to focus on making our pages like our pages again because that's what it started out as and then the more and more like our videos together went viral the more we started doing that and then as soon as we would post like things that we want to post individually it would flop and people would be like oh where's omar oh where's jade which is fine um but we kind of want to start really just making our pages our pages again so for me that's going to be like my hair content skin like getting into more i don't know i kind of want to do i like doing makeup content but i'm not good at makeup like like the beauty gurus who can like paint avatar on their face i can't do that but i love like doing like little get ready with me's and stuff so that'll be like a small part of it this summer I haven't really been on my A game, but when I do exercise, I do like sharing those things. I love doing, I love sharing like my resets, my organization, my home, like decor, all those things. Obviously now we can't do that because right now we are in France with family. So once we are, once we are in our own space, that's something that will come more. And then Omar is like basketball, fashion, he likes doing things with his hair those kind of things so and his tiktok really doesn't reflect a lot of that his youtube does his instagram does but we want to like switch that over to tiktok also and since tiktok is where we get most of our traffic we're like why don't we just like focus that on that so we're going to be starting a couples channel and that like so that it starts off doable and we are we are able to stay consistent I'm thinking we're just gonna do like two videos a month so every other week every other Wednesday we post so I just worked on the intro which is just gonna be wait that's not the right one so like super simple super quick um just like say hey and then slide right on through it and continue the video and then I got a little outro um I made some pop-ups for like social media following and all that kind of stuff i worked on the youtube page i made like a template to do our thumbnails and i started making a content calendar and content strategy for the rest of this year and yeah we're gonna film my first video tomorrow and hopefully post it the same day if possible um but yeah we're just gonna do a couple's tag so we're gonna go to the park and hopefully we can we have Omar's like DJ, DJI mic, so we're gonna take that and hope that the audio is really, really good because I think the scenery would be a lot better than just sitting in the bedroom. So I'm just kind of scripting now, finding questions for the couples tag, and yeah, we'll film that tomorrow. I'm excited. And in the meantime, I've been on my A game, I've been posting TikToks almost every single day, sometimes multiple a day. I think that's one thing I do need to learn is like pacing myself because sometimes I find myself having like a backlog of videos and then I get so excited for one of them after I posted one already for the day that I just post two and then that was supposed to be tomorrow's post so now I'm like crap what do I do tomorrow but oh speaking of which I need to post right now one sec hey guys today is Wednesday um we just finished setting up Omar's new gaming station he just got this monitor from a brand so we had to do a little video and now we are about to walk over to the park try to grab some food from the grocery store walk to the park 
we do have that video I was telling you about yesterday to film and hopefully I can post it today once I edit it and yeah so we're just gonna head to the park now let's go so we just recorded our video <laughs> how did we first meet who made the first move what's my biggest pet peeve who said I love you first if I were an animal what's your favorite thing about me who's the better cook one thing that we always argue about this was our setup so we sat in this chair and we kind of just had this like little square as our background and I'm always looking at this Moroccan restaurant right now <laughs> so now we're gonna head back we do have to figure out what we're gonna eat though and my hair the curls are just falling out which is pissing me off <laughs> but now we're gonna head back and I have to get started on editing right away so that I can post it tonight but we're not gonna cut it up too much I think because I think a long video is okay that was risky <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Faites attention, les gars. No. What do you say? <laughs> I have a euro for him. <laughs> Those kids earlier, when we were first walking past here, asked Omar, "How did you become two meters?" <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's already like almost six o'clock. Day went by pretty fast. Got my little fit. I'm wearing my green. Jade Asics, some Alphalete, wait, Alphalete leggings. Yeah. This, oh, hold on, too many people that staring, staring, staring. Everybody want to stare. <laughs> exactly, just creeping, like, look away. So my jacket is from Aritzia. It's one of my favorites. I have it linked in my LTK. And then yeah, that's the fit of the day. So I ran out the house and I forgot to grab my camera. So we are walking to the grocery store just to get some ingredients to make carbonara. 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 So I just walked past a bunch of weird dudes sitting down and he said bonsoir. I said bonsoir, I kept walking. And then as I walk past, I hear like slapping noises. So a little cringe, but anyway, we're almost there and we're gonna take a different route home. <laughs> we just need a Just get this one. So we got our little items. We had bolognese last night and we had like this little soup with chicken and mashed potatoes. So tonight, just something different. I'm feeling, I just felt two drops of water. So I need to get in the house before this rain takes out my blowout. So I'm a speed walk. <laughs> we got hit by a couple drops. Immediately, she's going in the bonnet so i'm gonna do the heatless curls thing that's how i've been sleeping lately so i keep everything in my bonnet i need to get the actual heatless curler but in the meantime this little water thingy is what i've been using but it works so gonna chunk from the back I'm gonna chunk from the front again. Then a little second to last on the back. And then the last one from the bottom. And it's funny because I literally, when I was younger, I loved pink. 
and then I started like I entered my tomboy phase when I was like playing sports and all that stuff and I left dance and then it became like black everything black blue red boy colors like typical boy colors I'm doing this differently. Um, I think sage green is always going to be one of my favorites, but I don't like how the color looks on me when I wear it. So it's like a favorite for things to own and like decor, but that's about it. And now I'm realizing the amount of pink things I actually own. <laughs> like maybe I do like pink. Then I just cut these in the back. Then I wrap it with my satin scarf. This kind of holds it in place. And then I put my bonnet. And this is how I sleep. And I'll show you the outcome when I wake up. Okay, so now I'm gonna edit and we're gonna have dinner. This is the carbonara. We're live, guys. First video is up. Now, we're gonna go rest. See y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, so today it's Thursday and I'm sitting here at 6 p.m. at the window. It's been raining all day, but this is the first bit of sunshine we have had. And it's gonna go soon. In about six days it will be scorpio season so i wanted to take today to kind of just have my scorpio season reset i think everyone needs a reset it doesn't matter when it is you can do it daily in your daily routine i definitely love to have my sunday reset routine for my weekly resets it's good to also have a monthly reset and of course an annual reset i think for me especially since i haven't really been doing my weekly resets i do think that doing my scorpio reset is essential i have a list of things that i actually want to do i've got my laptop here and we're on notion so we have our mental reset and our physical reset i think today we're mostly going to focus on the mental reset and then next week i'll kind of be doing the bulk of the physical reset that has to do with reflecting and goal setting, decluttering, and basically just visualizing. I think it'll probably be best if I start with decluttering because I know I have built up a backlog of random unnecessary documents on my computer, especially in the downloads tab. So I'm going to... So we are going to start with, I would say, the most stressful thing for me right now, which is my desktop i think the second one would be my inbox although i do a good job at keeping it empty let's see i literally have like two notifications that i haven't opened i also am approaching my limit on my work gmail so i do need to clear as much as possible on that actually no that would be third second would be my photos so we're gonna go through that after we clean up my desktop and one! Honestly, yes. oh. Okay, I think that's an issue. I'm gonna turn off this, like, the Apple oh. iCloud sync for my books because I don't care that it takes God up damn, this much space on my iPad because that's where I actually read, but I don't want it touching my MacBook. Okay, so my desktop and documents are pretty clean right now, but I do need to change my wallpaper because I need something that gives Scorpio season. So we're just going to search for something like that. Oh, we're just going to go on Pinterest and search for whatever we can find. Let's see. Scorpio season aesthetic wallpaper. Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna find anything, guys. 
I mean, those are cute, but they're more like mood boards. Look, this is giving crash out. I'm not, I'm a retired crash out, so. And this is beautiful, but I can't handle all this mess, like, on my screen. That would drive me insane. Let's try minimalistic. Something more simple, yeah. But we need it horizontal. We could just do this one that says Scorpio. <laughs> I'm gonna save it just in case I don't find it again. Hey! Sorry, babe, sorry. It's okay. Dumbass! Ooh, a black one. <gasps> Wait. Okay, I'm gonna save this also. Um, I just saw something beautiful. Oh. That moon. This. Kind of fire. <gasps> okay, guys, I don't know. I think I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, this is beautiful. Like, I'm seeing everything that I like. Oh, this is beautiful. But I, it needs to kind of reflect my mindset going into Scorpio season, so I don't know. This one's really nice, though. It's probably high quality too. Uh, this, but horizontal would have been nice. This is also nice. It's kind of hard picking one. Okay, guys, it's taking too long, so I'm gonna look and pick one. So we're actually just gonna go with this one. I feel like the amount of options is a little overwhelming. So this is simple. It's from the MacBook, like cash. It gives kind of the vibe that I was looking for. And it's simple and minimalistic and aesthetic and dark. So I like it. Now onto photos. 9,692. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 